The supply chain triangle refers to the correlation between cost, cash, and service in a supply chain. Balancing the triangle is often considered to be the ultimate challenge in supply chain management. In essence, a business provides its customers with a certain type of service that requires both cash to produce and distribute, a process that has all sorts of costs associated with it. By service, we refer to the level of client satisfaction with the product portfolio offered. The service is shaped by a company's fill rate, product portfolio, flexibility of orders placed by customers, and how quickly the products can be delivered. A broader variety of products offered to the customers is considered an improved service. For example, if you are a supplier of car parts, the broader the variety that you offer to your reseller customers, the fewer suppliers they have to deal with as they can satisfy a larger fraction of their demand with you. Order flexibility refers to the constraints you put forward to your customers. This encompasses MOQs, time windows for order placements, and the ability for customers to edit their orders. The lower the MOQ, the more flexibility the customer has on customizing their orders to their expected demand needs. Lead times determine how fast you can deliver the product to your customers. When it comes to cost, it is referring to the cost associated with providing the services to the customer. Warehouse expenses and shipping are typical examples, as well as the cost of the goods themselves, whether those are raw materials or ready-made goods if you are a reseller. If you are a producer, the manufacturing expenses will also be a key cost component. Finally, cash is referring to the working capital and may not seem as straightforward as cost or service at first. Cash is defined as the accounts receivable, plus inventory, minus accounts payable, and account for the operating activities for the company. Simply put, accounts receivable is money owed to the company by its debtors. Accounts payable is money owed by the company to its creditors, and inventory is the cash tied up in the stock currently held by the company. In supply chain, everything is connected. If you wish to lower your costs, you can ship in large batches from the cheapest producers in Asia with long lead times. However, this also means that more cash will be tied up in held inventory as it will have to increase. You may want to increase service to your customers by offering a large variety of products and faster deliveries. But this too means that in order to accommodate that, you will have to store more products in warehouses located closer to the customer. Or maybe your incentive is to free up more cash. You would want to therefore lower your inventory levels, which translates into worse service to your customers. It is crucial to remember that the supply chain is not composed of things in isolation. An improvement in A does not mean an improvement in B, and in fact, often leads to worsening the situation in B. Balancing the triangle correctly is therefore as challenging as it is essential for the success of your supply chain.